Question. On September 12, 2018, when at the Guanyin City Center paying respect to the Buddhas and Bodhisattvas, I saw that the statues of the Bodhisattvas suddenly radiated with a brilliant golden light that enveloped the entire altar. Soon after, the Bodhisattva conveyed a thought message to me. Attention disciple. In a moment, the Dharma protectors will take you on a trip down to hell. After paying my respects and returning home to relax, I feel that my whole body has become light. My soul is being lifted away by the Dharma protectors and before long I arrive at the entrance of the underworld. The Hell of Aishak. Men and women who use their eyes to commit sexual misconduct will be punished here. At the entrance of this hell are two guards who open the gates and let me in. I am walking on an empty high ground while a huge flat land lies below. The environment is dark and chilly and there are many offenders, both men and women. Some appear to be in a trance while others are in obvious pain. In the hell's sky I can see many instruments of torture. Upon closer inspection, the devices appear to be various books, tablet computers, smartphones, computers, modern and older style computers and televisions. They float ominously around the offenders' heads. The instruments are used to punish the souls for their lustful thoughts. In the human realm people regard pornography as a kind of entertainment but fail to realize that when these negative karmic seeds are sowed into their mind, they eventually mature into negative karmic fruit. If the person fails to perform wholesome deeds while living, they are transferred to this hell. Only by reciting sutras, paying respect to Buddha, performing many wholesome and meritorious deeds, and repenting and reforming themselves will they be able to halt the maturation of this negative karma. A notebook floats above the head of a middle-aged male offender. Initially, his face shows signs of intoxication but when the notebook opens, laser beams fire outwards, penetrating the offender's eyes. He shrieks and howls with pain and his whole body freezes up. The lasers do their work for a tortuous 7 to 8 minutes, rendering the offender unconscious once they finally switch off. His whole body is fried, smoking and left on the ground, and the notebook peacefully floats away. The Dharma Protector explains. Sins are born of the mind. Whatever tool is used to commit sexual misconduct when alive such as computers, notebooks or porn magazines, they will be recreated in your consciousness to punish you in death. These souls have been watching unwholesome things consistently, their unwholesome deeds accumulating all the while. However, because their deeds of sexual misconduct were quite minimal, they were transferred to this particular hell. The Dharma Protector leads me to the elevator to the human realm. As I enter, the lift door closes and when it opens, I wake up in the human realm. On September 17, 2018, when at the Guanyin Siddha Center paying respect to the Buddhas and Bodhisattvas, I see the Buddhist altar become enveloped by a gentle wave of cloud and mist. In the air, a display appears that expands to the size of the whole altar. Suddenly, I receive a thought message from the Dharma Protector. Attention Disciple. You must share your observations of the hell realm with the living. First, I will first take you to see the hell associated with negative verbal karma. After a brief time, my consciousness enters a half-awake, dreamlike state. The hell associated with negative verbal karma. People who have committed deeds of harsh speech, a divisive tongue, defamation of good advisors, or sowing dissension among people will be punished here. A female soul is forced to kneel on the ground, her hands tied behind her back and her face expressing an unwillingness to submit. The enforcement officer uses tools to pry open her mouth and pull her tongue out so violently that it almost tears. Crying from the pain, she is unable to struggle free, as she is locked in position by another enforcement officer. He takes a stake and pins the tip of her tongue to the ground. Made to kneel while her tongue is pinned down, the offender is unable to speak or even move. Many offenders receive their punishment in this way. Another offender, tied up on a platform, shouted and cried out in terror. 
An enforcement officer takes a torture instrument that has been heated red hot and just like before, violently pulls out this offender's tongue, but this time slices it off. The man weeps and cried in agony. The enforcement officer says. When this man was alive, he was fond of making dirty jokes and telling untrue, harsh and offensive untruths to Buddhists. These are heavy negative verbal karma. He was sent to hell after his death. Now that his tongue is detached, let's see how he manages to commit negative verbal karma again. Each day, the offender's tongue regenerates and regrows to its original form, only for the enforcement officer to repeat the same punishment. For the duration of the offender's imprisonment. Soon, I wake up. Master Jun Hong Lu's reply. This person really is incredible, everything she said is real. It's really scary. That's why prestigious and virtuous monastic or lay practitioners do not speak casually. When you go to a temple, meeting with a senior monk or a nun, if you speak and explain a lot of things to them, they will reply with the words Amitabha. They will not speak much about worldly matters. Karma is created when the mouth opens. The suffering is unfathomable. Do not regret it once it's too late. Become awakened earlier. There's nothing else to say. Do not watch pornography. We are human, we mustn't watch animalistic things, it's disgusting. After one's spirituality has reached a higher level, they will gradually and naturally become uninterested in such things. Animals do not wear clothes, so why don't you look at them instead? If we humans were lowered to the level of, say, sheep, then it's only natural for a sheep to look at other sheep. As a human, will you be interested in watching sheep? Everybody must understand these principles. Do not mess around, 